The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Good day. Broadcast for today. The 6th Summer University of Western Armenia, dedicated to the protection of Armenian heritage. The event contributed to the unity of Armenian communities and increased international visibility. Nelly Hayatunyan, chairwoman of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia. Historian Ashut Hayatunyan on the importance of the implementation of the Treaty of Severus. Eastern Armenia submitted Turkey's version of the restoration of the Anib Rage. Artsakh should live in us so that one day we will live in Artsakh again. Ahal Kalaki Sport Complex athlete Artyush Komtsyan approached finals of the International Boxing Tournament. The newly appointed ambassador of the Kingdom of Netherlands to Eastern Armenia visited the memorial of the genocide committed against the Armenians. The National Council of Western Armenia organized the sixth summer university dedicated to the preservation and development of Armenian heritage. The event took place on 8 September at the Notre Dame de Narek Armenian Church in Lyon, Villarbonne, France, Republic Villarbonne Metro. The basic subject of this year's summer university was protection of Armenian interests at the United Nations. The purpose of the event was to discuss the international protection of Armenian issues and strengthen the voice of Armenian communities on the international stage. The event began with a solemn opening ceremony where the President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armenak Abrahamian, and the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosian, gave speeches. They were joined by Guillermo Karamanya, Ambassador of the Republic of Western Armenia to Argentina. In their speeches, the speakers summarized the challenges and successes of protecting the rights of the Armenian people. They focused mainly on the Treaty of Severus. The Treaty of Severus, signed on August 10, 1920, is the international document that recognizes the independence of the state of Western Armenia and defines its territories. The treaty would be of great importance in the recognition of the rights of the Armenian people if the provisions regarding Armenia were implemented. During the event, Eastern Legion was also mentioned, which was founded during the First World War and struggled against the Ottoman Empire with the participation of Armenian volunteers. The bravery and tireless service of the Armenian legionaries contributed to the increase of international attention to the Armenian issue and the efforts aimed at the creation of future Armenian state. Members of the representation of Western Armenia were present too in Yerevan on the Zoom platform, as well as representatives of Artsakh. At the end, various discussions and question and answer sessions took place during which the participants had the opportunity to exchange views. In 2024, on 8 September, at the Notre Dame de Narek Church in Lyon, the Sixth Summer University of the National Council of Western Armenia was held, dedicated to the preservation of Armenian heritage. Representatives of Armenian communities from different countries attended the event, as well as speakers who discussed the challenges of protecting the rights of the Armenian people on international platforms. Speaker of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, Ms. Nelly Hayatunyan, expressed her opinion on the event, having a speech after the event. Ms. Hayatunyan noted that the event showed the readiness and unity of the Armenian communities in terms of holding discussions on important issues and acting with a united voice. She added that the protection of Armenian interest on the international stage remains a priority issue. Such events greatly contribute to the effectiveness of that process. She especially thanked the organizers of the event, noting that their dedicated work and efforts greatly contributed to the success of the event. This event not only raised the international visibility of Armenian issues, but also united the Armenian communities, creating a strong foundation for future cooperation, said Ms. Nelly Harutunyan. President of the Shushi Patriotic Union historian Ashot Hayatunyan expressed the following opinion regarding the importance of the Treaty of Severs and the need for its implementation. This document is of crucial importance for the protection of the history and rights of the Armenian people. In 1920, the Treaty of Severs signed on 10 August is an international legal document that recognizes the independence of Western Armenia and defines its territories. Although the treaty was never implemented and remained unimplemented, it is still an important document today, which is the basis for the protection and restoration of the rights of the Armenian people. Ashot Hayatunyan noted that the Treaty of Severus not only ensures the patriotic rights of the Armenian people in Western Armenia, but is also directly related to the current challenges facing Armenia and Artsakh.
We are in a situation where Azerbaijani troops have occupied a significant part of our historical homeland and the Armenian people are facing new challenges. This is not only a duty to our ancestors, but also a necessity for our existence as an Armenian people. We must be united, strong, to defend our rights. Hayatunyan believes that today, when the enemies of the Armenian nation have united to destroy us, it has become a vital necessity for the Armenian people to struggle to unite the separated lands of the homeland. It is high time to move from speech to practical steps. The historian concluded. Eastern Armenia has submitted its version to Turkey on any bright restoration. This was reported by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Armenia in response to Sputnik Armenia's inquiry. However, it is important to emphasize that Ani is a historical part of Western Armenia and any restoration initiative in, in this area must be agreed with the government of Western Armenia. In addition, we await UNESCO's response on this issue. As such, projects require international oversight and involvement for the proper preservation of Armenian cultural heritage. On 7 September, the event titled We Are Our Artsakh took place in Yerevan. The organizer was Yeras Park, where the event took place. Artsakh should live in us so that one day we will live in Artsakh again. With this slogan, the organizers have gathered Artsakh taste and smell song and speech in one place. Our priceless heritage and history will live as long as there are its bearers and as long they are passed down from generation to generation, preserved and remembered every day. The organizers express their conviction. This day is an international boxing tournament named after Georgi Kandelaki is taking place in Georgia, in which the students of the Halkalaki Sports Complex are participating. As a result of today's struggle, Artyush Komtsyan reached the finals. Artsakh Elizabarian and Artyush Komtsyan struggled today to reach the finals. Arshak lost to a competitor from Kazakhstan and Artyush defeated an athlete from Kutaisi and reached the finals. Earlier, Gore Ayvazian also reached the finals of the tournament who gave two fights, both of which were crowned with victory. The newly appointed ambassador of the Netherlands, Mary Kay Harriet Monroe Winter, visited the Genocide Memorial in Armenia, where she was welcomed by the director of the museum, Adita Gazoya, and the deputy director, Lucine Abrahamian. They presented to the ambassador the history of the establishment of the memorial complex, the history of the genocide against the Armenians, and introduced them to the memorials dedicated to the victims of the genocide in Artsakh and war in Artsakh organized by Baku. The ambassador laid the ref at the memorial and observed a minute of silence in memory of victims. She also toured the museum and made a note in the guest of honor book. The ambassador was presented with books about the genocide against Armenians. This was all for today. Goodbye.